Welcome to story time. Once again, uh, from Thailand, there's a motorbike. Doesn't matter, I just keep, keep going on because in 10 minutes we're going to have free coffee and cake. So I just uh, start talking. So the picture we're going to look at today is this one. It's not going to be just that though, um, because there's a long story behind this. Um, as you can see, or maybe not uh, that that's me on stage with a bass and like feathers and shit going on because I was playing in a gothic rock band. Um, so that's why outfits like that were required, right? Uh, still only wear black today basically and um, nothing has changed since then. <laughs> uh, other than I'm not actually playing in a band anymore. So generally I want to tell you about um, music in general and then this band specifically uh, that was called Cherubim Incorporated. So the angels, you know, those, those angels. And basically saying Sherbim Inc. <laughs> as an incorporation. Like, I, I didn't make the name. I, I came to the band later. But yeah, basically I started making music when I was a teenager, like 16, I started playing the guitar. Then my band back in the days, my very first band when I was a teenager needed a bass player and I was singing, so I was like, ah, oh, I can play the bass while I'm singing, you know? So I was never really good. Uh, I had like a couple of bands in between and then uh, this happened. So I met the singer of the band. Um, uh, because I met the singer of the band uh, because he was also in the media industry and I was like a video producer so we met there. He said his band needed a new bass player and I was like, I, I can play the bass, you know. So he was first not really, he didn't really want to have a woman and uh, you know, it's all a bit like, but then in the end, uh, not just because I had like um, people that I knew and connections in the music industry because I made like music um, festival videos before their documentaries, but also he realized that having a woman on stage might not be the worst idea. <laughs> so um, I uh, joined the band um, as a bass player and backing vocalist. This picture is already from 2003, um, so it was near the end of our, uh, <laughs> of our lifespan as a band. Um, when I joined, I think it was 2001. So this gig was in Hanover in Germany. My dad took the picture, uh, very proud. So it's, it's quite edited and quite, you know, he, he likes to do stuff and then the quality <laughs> suffers. <laughs> Sorry about the cock, like, why not? <laughs> okay, so, but the thing is, the, um, my actually absolute favorite picture from, so basically, this is, this is the picture I'm going to talk about because this was on my, on my memory wall, but I'm going to take you down memory lane a little bit. <laughs> and show you some more pictures and videos of that time um, in the band. So my absolute favorite picture is this one. I, I look so badass here, like not just with the hair, but singing, having our front singer in the back behind me. <laughs> so I really like this picture a lot. That was at a festival in Eastern Germany and it was pretty awesome. So, um, so I show you a couple of other pictures from live events. Uh, that we were playing a couple of gigs. I think in total we only played like eight gigs or something. Um, and these are all obviously live photos or stills. A lot of these are stills from videos that I was producing. And then obviously um, we had band photos, right? So this was a band photo that I took. Yes, believe it or not, I'm in the picture and I took it. So the, the funny thing is that, um, that I started doing because I was basically responsible for the media stuff. I was looking after our website, I was doing the photos and videos um, and all these kind of things basically. So for this I just had a camera and I had like the, uh, the timer set and then I ran back into the picture and tried to look like really like sad or angry or something because we're a gothic rock band, right? So you have to look sad and angry all the time. Um, so I ran back post and then the, the, the picture took it and then you know just had to be lucky that it's right and this was actually one of the results um, the funny thing is what happened then at, at some point was that um, in order to do the next one once I had a nice camera or like a really good camera um, we did a photo session where I put a camera uh, on top of a tripod and just arranged the band again got into the picture myself post and then we just took a still out of the videos. Obviously the quality isn't then amazing, but that way we got a lot of stills um, that we could then use for promotional pictures. So I, um, I show you, the, <laughs> I show you the, um, the short video that I made as like all, basically all the stuff that you could not use of that stuff that we filmed. And I made a funny video of it. The quality is quite bad because it's, it's a long time ago. It was like 2002 or something. Um, the quality is quite bad. Bear with me, it's funny though. And then afterwards I show you the results that came out of that session. Um, um, it was a couple of good pictures came out of that weird, weird uh, photo session. So here you go. Girl to marry you. A 
Okay, so and then basically um, at some point I realized while I was in the band that um, that I was the, the weakest link, right? So everybody was really good. Our singer had like this amazing presence, a really good voice and he just like, he had charisma and he was like a proper front man, like really good. The guitarists were amazing, the drummer was a, a music student, so like everybody was amazing but me. <laughs> so I was a bit like, I don't want to just be the, the girl in the band, right? I want to actually be good on bass. So I started taking lessons and I became actually quite good at some point. So much so that my, my teacher at the time said if I continued, uh, I could become a bookable bass player um, and actually do well as a bookable bass player. Um, but, uh, well, the band split up um, and the whole thing just disappeared and I just decided not to do music anymore. But um, this is this is basically, and I just show you the the intro for this song. This is how good my bass player. This is the best I could ever do on the bass. And I show you this clip of me on stage playing this like quite elaborate piece as an intro for a song, um, and that was here. <laughs> That was quite cool, right? I mean, obviously, it's like live, you can't really hear it well, but it was, it was honestly, this was the most difficult thing I ever played on bass, and I was really proud that I nailed that. Um, but yeah, so after that, it was over. Like, the, um, this was actually, this little clip was from the last ever gig of, of Cherubim Inc., and um, we tried to find a new singer at some point because the singer basically left, um, and we couldn't, and then in the end, we decided, okay, that was it. Um, we called it a day. And I did, I think I probably had like one more shot at a band at some point because uh, making music is, is a magical thing, I would say. It's amazing to, to come together with people, put instruments together and actually do music. Um, so I'm missing that, to be honest. But um, I just realized if I wanted to be good at it, that would be all I'd be doing, just playing the bass and singing. And then I'm not willing to do that because I have so many other things I want to do. So, yeah, I decided against uh, continuing with a music career of any sorts and I stopped with it and said goodbye music after this band, basically. Uh, it was amazing. We were very far, like the, we had an agent and we had a demo CD out. Um, um, there were record labels were interested. So it was all like on the right way and then it just crashed. Maybe it was for the best. Who knows? So thing is, I did, um, I took one of our uh, recorded songs, which was basically our hit song, um, and made a music video out of it. I surprised the, the band at some point because I took all the video material that I had collected over the time and just made a, vi a music video out of it. Obviously, you don't see me that much in it because I was filming most of the time, but I thought to share this with you at the end of this video. Um, so <laughs> enjoy. Um, this is Sherbim Incorporated with throned in dust. See you next week. Bye.